Okay, it's Scott Smith of Fahob.com here with Carlos Molina, uh, Red Step in the Ring with Adrian Broner. Firstly, um, how do you expect um, Broner's recent setback to affect his approach going into this fight? Um, you know, I, I'm, we work for uh, for the best Adrian Broner, you know. Um, I know he, he took a tough loss, but um, you know, I, I'm, I'm not expecting anything less than, than the old Adrian Broner, you know, probably even better. So we're, we're ready. We're ready for whatever he brings. Yeah, I mean, down in the lighter weight, he was a devastating puncher. Um, when he moved up to 147, he didn't seem to carry the power that many people thought that he might. I mean, at 140, are you expecting that power to be back or a more cautious approach after what recently happened? Um, you know what? Whether he whether he has that power or not, you know, I, I believe I got, I got the greatest chin in the world. So, you know, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. We're, we're ready to... to to shock the world, I'm ready to get a, a whole lot of new fans, man. I know a lot of people don't like don't like this guy from the you know the way he is. So, so you know, victory over him, you know, um, people are gonna know uh, Carlos Molina. Yeah, he said uh, a lot of people don't like him. He's come up today. He's trash talked in your face. He's remained very calm. Um, has that any psychological effect on you over the last few days, or are you just taking it all in your stride? You know, I'm just I'm just taking all this all this in, man. You know, it's uh, I'm I'm happy to be fighting in the Mayweather undercard and uh, you know fighting Adrian Broner. You know, uh, on Saturday, I, I, you know, I get to shut him up, so. Yeah, I mean, I mean you faced Amir Khan before, he's got very quick hands, good movement. I mean, Adrian's uh, well known for having quick hands. I mean, but yourself, when you fought at Amir, you landed a few quick counters you, yeah. yourself. Do you think counter punching this fight could be the key to key to success? Um, yeah, you know, we're going to go in there and, uh, you know, we're going to utilize different tactics. You know, if one doesn't work, you know, we like I said, we train in the gym for every scenario that he can bring. And, uh, you know, we're, 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 he's going to be surprised with, with our boxing ability and my speed. And, uh, you know, I'm ready to put on a great performance. Yeah. Do you see any vulnerabilities in his game? I mean, his football has been questioning by certain people, especially after the recent two yeah. performances. I mean, any vulnerabilities you've picked up on? Uh, yeah, you know, he doesn't, really, he doesn't really use a lot of footwork, a lot of movement. And, uh, you know, I, I think we're going to capitalize on, on all that. Yeah, I mean, fast forward uh, to May 4th after the fight. Um, let's say, for example, you're victorious. What's next for Carlos Molina? Um, you know what? After after that, you know we're ready for a world title shot. You know, beating Adrian Broner, we're we're right there. So that's 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 our goal. Okay, I just finish off. Anything you want to say to the fans that have traveled to see you? Uh, the um, yeah, you know, just uh, you know, thank you guys for for all your love and support. Um, you know, this fight this fight's for you guys. Okay, thank you very much. All the best for Saturday night. Thank you.